13 counts of fraud. It's not a bad start. Not bad at all. <laughs> Michael's not gonna know what hit him. Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't more careful. Something wrong? I don't know, Steve. I feel kind of guilty about this. I mean, Michael's the one that got that doctor for my mom, and he gave my brother a job. Well, Michael Krieger doesn't do anything unless he's getting something in return. He's not a nice guy. Where do you think all this money came from? You know, I wonder if Jack knows about this. Hey, listen to me. You cannot let him know what you're up to. Oh, really? I'm serious. All right, he would flip out if he knew that his boss was being blackmailed by his sister. Oh, no, trust me, it'd be worse if my parents found out. Yeah, well, your parents don't seem so bad. Uh, if your name's Jack, they're great. Mm. So do you think that he'll pay? And where's this information getting out? Mm -hmm. Trust me, he'll pay. <laughs> Caitlin! What? Is Steve in there? No. Caitlin? It's okay, I'll go. <clears throat> Mrs. Porter! Steve, you know the rules. Yes, ma'am. What? Stop it, you dork. Stop. I can't breathe. Come on. I can't. Come on. Steve, I can't. I'm coming in. Did you want me to? No, please. Okay. Steve, uh, I was happy to help you out when you were in a bit of trouble. Yeah, and I really appreciate that, Mrs. Porter. Yeah, but I've had it. My patience has run out. You refuse to acknowledge my rules. And you've shown no indication that you're looking for a place of your own. Mom. Uh, I know you have lots of good excuses, but I don't want to hear them right now. What I do want is for you to be moved out of here by the end of the week. I understand. Good. I'll be right back. You can't talk to him that way. This is my house, young lady, so I can talk to him any way I like. You're just mad because Steve and I get along and you are miserable here without Dad. <sighs> Pass the eggs, please. Mm -hmm. oh, Caitlin, hmm? shouldn't you be leaving soon? Um, I'm gonna stay here today. What about your job? I called in sick. There's something I want to help Steve with. Oh, really? And what would that be? I've just got a strong lead on some financial opportunities. I just wanted to talk to Caitlin about it first. Working together again, do you think that's a good idea? It would be beneficial in this particular case. Hello? Oh, hey, Dad. No, 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 we're just eating breakfast, it's okay. Yeah, he's sitting right here. No, I'm not gonna tell him that. That's really sweet, Dad. You should tell her something. Hey, hang on, I'm gonna pass her the phone. Dad wants to say hello. Hello, goodbye. Mom, why did you do that? Your father has had years to say whatever came into his head. I'm going shopping. I will be back soon. I'm starting to understand your father a little more. Yeah, well, I wish I did. I wish I understood both of them a little better. <laughs> Where's he calling from anyway? He's staying at a motel until they work things out. Doesn't sound to me like they're working things out. Well, at least she said something before she hung up. Yeah, listen, Caitlin, I been thinking, maybe you shouldn't be involved in our plan. Steve. We're talking about blackmail here. It's dangerous. It's not, it's not something you need to be a part of. Well, it's a little too late for that. I'm already a part of it. I'm the one who did Michael's finances. Okay, you don't need to be complicit. What does that mean? There's no reason to make him think that there's anybody other than me asking for money to cover it up. 
anything went wrong. Steve, nothing's going to go wrong. He's not going to risk letting those documents go public. And whatever he's doing to generate that much undeclared income, he doesn't want people to know, right? Right. And with how much money that guy has, the cost of keeping us quiet is going to be like junk change. Right. Exactly. We'll just ask him for a little bit to get you back on your feet. Still, I'm thinking I should do this on my own and meet you somewhere in a couple of weeks. With how much money you're going to be getting. I thought you trusted me. Well, I said I loved you. I didn't say anything about trusting you with millions of dollars. Look, it's, I'm not saying I, I need to sit in on your meeting or something, but I do want to be there when the deal goes down. And we will split the money half and half. Deal? <laughs> That's better than what I got for my wife. Yes, well, you had lousy lawyers. Now, get the ball rolling. Steve, I didn't expect to hear from you again. Well, I hope it's a pleasant surprise. What do you want? I need some face time with Michael. Michael's a very busy man. I'm sure he is. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important. Why don't you just tell me what you have to say and I'll pass it along. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but I need to meet with him directly. Let me be honest with you, Steve. I have a hard time believing that you have anything to say that Michael would want to hear. Maybe not. But there's a lot that I could say to other people that he wouldn't want them to hear, so let's make this meeting happen. I'll see what I can arrange. Wow. Where did that come from? Money talks. Yes, but it can't buy you love. Okay, where did you say you left it again? Mm. In your room. No, I don't remember a tie in my room. Tied to the headboard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't use that one. <laughs> Why not? Trust me. Great. I'll go tie this. No, that's not a good look for you. Hey, Mom, will you grab some of Dad's ties? <clears throat> what color? Red. Okay, well, let me take a look. Okay. Okay, listen, just don't allow yourself to be bullied. You have documents that can't afford to be exposed. Hmm. Right? Okay. Well, I grabbed a few. What do you think? Ugh, Mom, where did you get these? From your father's closet. Who gave him these ugly ties? You did. Father's Day. <laughs> okay, well, remind me not to do that again. Here, this one. Oh. Job interview, Steve? Brand new start today, Helen. Well, I know we've had our differences, but I, I wish you luck. Right. Thank you. I'll be out of your hair by sunset. In fact, as a parting gift, I'm gonna take us all out to dinner. Oh, now, Steve, really, that's not necessary. We'll eat at home like we always do. I insist. What's your favorite restaurant? Oh, you are not taking us all out. Helen, if you don't let me do it, I will kidnap your daughter and disappear with her forever. See, Mom, you better let him take us out. Besides, <laughs> you haven't been out in a long time. Well, I uh, did read about a nice seafood restaurant the other day. Viola. Great. Viola. Say seven. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, bye. Be careful. Thanks. Mom, thanks for the gesture. Thank you. Well, everybody deserves a fresh start once in a while. This is our final business together. Understood? Trust me. Trusting you is what got me in this position in the first place, Steven. Consider that your severance. 
that it? That's it. You're free to go. Okay. Oh, and Steven. I never want to see or hear from you ever again. I'm a ghost. You certainly are.